Okay, today I'm going to be talking about how to draw an atom. So I want to be drawing oxygen, and I want to draw sodium here. And so oxygen has the atomic number of 8, and it has the atomic mass of 16. And for sodium, it has the atomic mass, or atomic number of 11, and the atomic mass of 23. So just round up. So from these numbers, what... Oh, sorry. From these numbers, how am I going to do this? So first, to draw the atom, I want to know how many protons do I have, how many neutrons do I have, and how many electrons do I have. So protons are going to be 8, because the atomic number tells us how many protons it has, how many protons it has to determine what atom it is, so an oxygen atom will always have 8 protons. Neutrons. So 8 minus 16, I'm going to take... To find the number of neutrons, I'm going to take the atomic number, I'm going to take the atomic mass, and subtract out the atomic number. So, 16 minus 8 equals, six equals 8. So I have 8 neutrons. And then my number of electrons is going to equal the number of protons I have. So I have 8 electrons. So now I want to put these in a Bohr model. So first for the Bohr model, I'm going to draw a nucleus. So I'm just going to draw a circle and write eight protons, P with a plus, and then eight neutrons, N with a zero for no charge. And that's really tiny. So hopefully that helps. A little bit, something like that. Close enough. So then I'm going to draw a ring. And this is going to get into il energy levels. So for a Bohr model, you have rings, and every ring has a certain number of electrons it can hold. And the first ring can only hold two. So put one electron here and one electron here. So that takes out two electrons. So I'm going to take two and subtract it from my total number of electrons I have, and that leaves me with six electrons. So now I have to place these in the next ring. So the first ring can hold two, but the next ring can hold eight. So I'm going to draw my ring, and instead of drawing eight dots, I'm just going to write six electrons. Now, if we think about the octet rule for a bit, it tells us what the octet rule is, is that they want eight valence electrons. So valence electrons are the electrons in the outer ring. So this outer ring has six, and it would like eight, so it, oxygen here would like two more electrons. So if we gave it two more electrons, it would get a 2 minus charge. But right now, for drawing the Bohr model, 8 protons, 8 neutrons, 2 electrons in the first energy level, 6 electrons in the outer energy level. Cool. Now I'm going to do one more to kind of show drawing the Bohr model. So we covered the nucleus and their energy levels in this one. I'll do it one more time. So sodium. To draw a Bohr model of sodium, first thing I want to do is number of protons, neutrons, and electrons. So the number of protons is 11, because that's my atomic number, 11. Number of neutrons, that's going to be 20, 23, the atomic number, or the atomic mass, excuse me, minus the atomic number. So that's going to be 11, and that's going to get me 12. So I have 12 neutrons, and then electrons going to equal my number of protons. So 11 there. So first I'm going to start with drawing the nucleus. So I draw a circle, draw it slightly bigger, and draw P with a plus for protons, and I have 11 of them. And for neutrons, N with a zero, and I have 12 of them. So now I'm going to draw my first energy level here. And remember the first one can take two. So two electrons in this one, and I'm going to subtract two here. I have nine electrons remaining that I can pull from. So I'm going to draw another ring. And this one can hold eight, so I'm going to put eight in here. Eight minus nine leaves me with one electron left, so I need to draw one more ring, because we have the octet rule, and we can't fit more than eight in that one. Or we can't fit more than eight, and so we're going to move up one. So we're going to put one electron here on this outer, on this third energy level. And so for a Bohr model, it would be 281 for the energies. And so if sodium wanted to get to the octet rule and wanted 8 in its outer thing, all it would have to do is lose one electron, maybe donate it over here to oxygen here, who would like 2. So that way it can follow the octet rule as well. 
And so that's kind of a quick and dirty version on how to draw a bore model.